5,000 acre farm where we are in central Alberta, the average actual field size, yield side round and within fields, we're about 83 acre field sizes. So, uh, so there's lots of turning, there's lots of angles, lots of overlap. There's lots know. outside rounds. Yes, lots outside rounds. So the, uh, we were about 12% overlap with the flexi coil on 51 feet. To go to a 60 foot drill, we, uh, we were down to 5%. Um, so between getting sectional control, but then this turn compensation, like we'd say with outside rounds and potholes and, and oil leases and power lines, you're, you're turning that drill a lot. And when you're turning that drill so tight, the inside wheel or wing is is almost at a stop in, at times. So that's that's almost five times the amount of product going down. So my my biggest thing that I noticed was um, the worst place to have a lodge crop is a is a tight corner on canola. Let's say when you're trying to swap that canola and it's on the ground and it's and it's too green still from over fertilize. It's full of disease, of tiny plants, it's just yeah. flat on the ground. It's just an absolute nightmare. Yeah, so um, so after we swapped a few quarters, I, uh, I kind of realized that I wasn't struggling. I was trying to figure out why, and, and that's why, is because once I look back, the, uh, the plant count and the stubble was consistent right to the edge of that tight corner. Um, so. The 15 inch gap never changed, the seed placement never changed, and they were still healthy. I was, I was, able, to, I was able to cut this canola standing. And, and, uh, and even on a year like this with our canola, there were lodge spots where the drill still did overlap here and there. So it, it's not that it, it wasn't going to lodge at all this year, it's the turn comp truly helped, helped those areas. And then, and then also, so there's swathing, there's harvesting and everything like that, but then there's also going back to seed that crop the next year. So now, because most of the times you couldn't pick that stuff off the ground. Yes. So now, the next year when you go to seed that, you're going slower on the corner and that's where you're going to pluck. Mm -hmm. Your trash wheels or whatever, old drills, nothing's moving and that's where you're going to pluck. But now, you don't have that. So next year when I come into seed, you're going to have perfect place double because of 15 inch spacing there's no shanks right riding on top of each other so you're gonna have that same spacing the whole way out so now next year I'm so excited when you come around the corner on all of these turns it's gonna be perfect yeah you're not gonna be ripping stuff out of the ground or less chance of it there's yeah no flat stuff to deal with so it just it's not it's not even just harvesting it's even the next year seeding it just continues on it just makes everything better we've had conversations with Richie um, on a farm like ours with the outside rounds and the, and the amount of them, the turn compensation is probably saving us more money than, than four sectional control. Yeah. So it's a pretty, pretty neat numbers once you start looking at it in that regard. You start right at the hitch, right? I mean, uh, at one pivot point, you got 600 olive points to hook up. Um, and then you work through it, so then you got uh, stainless steel meter boxes. Um, you got easy calibration, like easy, easy. Yeah. So you got an external um, display there. You don't have to calibrate every single meter. You just toss that tray on one of your four rollers, do that calibration for that tank. Same with fertilizer. Going into the next year, you take those calibration numbers, you toss them in, and you do a smart cal. So now we're not calibrating really more than you ever need, more than to. You ever need to. You're doing it all standing up. You're not on your knees. Yeah. Um, and then with load cells, being able to get accurate on the last fill, um, we, never, we never had too much or not enough to finish a field. Um, so you, you take that headache away. That was that was phenomenal going from an old drill like we had to to a simple drill yet had all the had everything that a that a state of the art drill needs. Um, seed growers would absolutely love this drill. Very easy I mean, to clean out. So easy to clean out. Yeah, um, so nothing for it to hang up on. So simple, and even switching between products. So at the end of the season last year, you bounce around between canola and the last few acres of barley, and. With the slide gates now, you toss those slide gates in on whatever, whether it's the canola or the barley, you pull the other ones, and you continue. So you're not empty, you're not having to empty it out, which was which was nice. I mean that's a that's a time savings there. So that was that was awesome. Yeah. Um, and then going to the back, you got uh, you got 48 openers to worry about, and uh, 
So, and even when it does time, comes time to chain them, um, they're all right there. It's easy. You just yeah. scoot across one line. You can almost probably do them all standing up. We live right off the one of the second busiest highways in Canada. I mean, 70,000 cars drive by a day. Um, we're right in between Pendled Overpass and Innisfil. So heavily populated areas, um, lots of traffic, lots of secondary highways. Um, so, um, yeah, to, to go from the, the flexi train, we called it, with uh, two tanks and an implement. It was 110 um, feet long, though, right? Yeah, it so was long. We so went from really long to really wide. Yeah, but that wide drill for us, even in these highly dense populated areas, the secondary rows, um, you were line to line, ditch to ditch. We were worried. But like pulling it around this yeah. spring when we bought it last last summer, um, but no problem. Yeah, no, now we've gone through a season, even in our area, we never had a, a glitch or a headache. Um, if, for instance, you hit a, another oncoming drill, you have the ability to back up or pull into approach and then back out. Yeah. Um, and it does follow just like a big grain cart. All of our tight approaches that I thought I'd have to go and, and work on were, weren't an issue. Yeah. So um, it's actually safer. Oh, sorry, safer driving around than the old drill that was really long. Um, just crossing intersections, pulling out onto highways. Um, people wanted when they wanted to go and pass, they pull out and they're like, "Holy moly! Like <laughs> that thing's long. I'm yeah. not going to pass." So now they pull out and you're, it's, they're they're by. It's, it's safe, right? Quicker. It's quicker that way. So um, yeah, no problem. The width, as long as as long as the. Uh, Transportation board makes all the roundabouts wide enough, no problem, yeah, no problem, yeah.